Hi and welcome back to another model home tour. We're going through the Fisher Homes, the Leland, which is located in Chesapeake a Subdivision in Pickerington, Ohio. We're starting off in the owner's suite, which is on the first floor. It's the first floor owner's suite. Excuse my fingers there at the top. Uh, and there's the uh, closet there, linen closet. And we're going to go over here to the uh, walk-in closet. As you notice, the door that you see there with the six panels going up and down, that's an upgrade. All the black handles you'll see through here is an upgrade. It's got a nice window there where it looks out to the front of the house. It's just one walk-in closet, which is a nice size. And there's the wife. The two sinks here are split, which are adult height, which are real nice. Nice shove tower, has a nice tub there. The shower is very nice too. It's got a nice shower in it. Those door, those handles you see over there on the uh, counter there. Nice tray ceilings in the bedroom. That's an upgrade too as well. And there's speaker lights. There's speakers up there too, which if you want the speakers, that comes from Guardian Homes. Uh, that's where you get that from. They also do all your um, security systems. Uh, anything to do with your thermostat as far as making a Wi-Fi, connecting it to your garage door opener. They have a thousand things they can do for you. So if you're interested in something like that, I give them a call. They're really good. They work exclusively with Fisher Homes too as well. So we're going out the uh, owner suite. We're hanging right here. There's the door that goes downstairs. We're not going to go downstairs because it wasn't finished. But you can see the really nice molding on the wall there. Uh, the bathroom, the powder room comes up here to the left it comes with a pedestal if you want the cabinet that it has in there that's an upgrade and the sink too itself is an upgrade that toilet looks like an upgrade too it looks like a, oh they they don't do the elongated toilet you have to pay for that that's an upgrade nice door with the window in it that would be an upgrade um let's see here the molding on the walls all of course all upgraded which is very nice this is a formal kind of dining room area they got it set up in here for if we were to buy this house this would be my daughter's piano room without a doubt so we'll skip over here to the breakfast nook with the bump out on it and it's very nice uh, you can see how that looks there um, they had somebody here visiting the house and we didn't want to interrupt them uh, and, uh, he was giving her a tour of the house because they were looking at the house to, to build themselves so we were trying to stay out the way they got a nice sliding door there going up to the patio to the deck um, it's very nice. I mean, this is a very nice option. They also have another option. If you don't want to do the bump out, they also have a optional bedroom, first floor bedroom, which is something we would really do if we did this because my mother-in-law would live with us and we would make this her mother-in-law suite. It comes very, it's very nice. It's got the little bathroom with it. It's got the toilet, shower, nice closet for her to use. And it would be definitely an option we would look into having. So uh, we definitely do that. Look how huge that center that uh, kitchen island is it's massively big it's really big nice pantry and you see the gas burner upgraded that's nice with the range hood those are upgrades and uh, you see that what's really nice my wife really would love is this laundry room it's really nice it's got the sink in there which is an upgrade to put that deep sink in there but it's really big and it's got a nice big closet off to it as well and um I think it comes like that. I think if you put cabinets above the sink, above the washer and dryer, that would be an upgrade. Nice upgrade there on the uh, little mudroom. Hang up your stuff when you come to the door there. It's got three car garage. This one does. And there's garage three, which is nice, which I don't have in the clay, which we're going to build. The third car garage is not connected to the house. You have to, have to go outside to get back into the house. This one here, there's the other two car garage, which they're using it for the office because it's a model. Um, it's very nice. nice uh, refrigerator there's the stove with the microwave above it all the upgraded handles you see there on the on, right there the, are those are handles all that stuff's upgraded those are not the standard handles you would probably get a lot of people either do them themselves and look at the crown molding that's very nice too that's also something upgraded a lot of people just don't get the handles and they'll just put them on themselves whatever you do it's up to you The handrails there going up the steps those rails those are extra that's an upgrade looks very nice and the molding you see on the wall that's the upgraded molding and the molded trim around the windows are very nice here's a look at here's a look out from the second story up here really nice beautiful entryway they they do they design beautiful homes there's no doubt about it it's very beautiful this little loft up here is very nice my daughter would love this she's a teenager she would call this her spot 
and we will not be allowed up here, I'm sure. <laughs> she probably tried to ban us from upstairs. Well, they got three bedrooms up here. Let's go take a look at the first one off to the right here. It's got a nice little closet in it. And again, uh, it's all the upgraded uh, hardware on the doors and the doors themselves. And it's got the extra windows in here. It looks real nice. Um, bedroom two and three are up here as well. But they got the nice double bowl sink here in the guest bathroom. That also is upgrade. You get one. And that door that leads into that toilet area there, that little door piece, that's an upgrade. I would suggest if you're going to do a model tour, take the uh, salesman with you and then have them point out to you exactly what are the upgrades and what comes with the home, what's the standard package. That would be my first uh, definitely thing to tell you what to do if you're going to do this. Now going down the hall here, there's a door that leads there. You see a bathroom, but that bathroom is connected to the uh, bedroom here. Like a little princess suite, whatever you call it. But it's nice. Got the transient window up there, which I'm sure is an upgrade. And uh, you see how they got the nice sink there, the tub and everything. So you can probably change that out to a shower. A lot of kids don't want to have the tub there. They just want a shower, which we did in the clay. Our daughter has that same setup. She has her own bedroom with the, uh, with the bathroom in it, and hers is just a shower. And she also has a little walk-in closet like this one here. You just check out the links to our visit to the house, and you'll see what ours looks like. Again, it's a very beautiful home. It's very well done. I mean, you can't beat their construction. It's just really beautiful. Uh, I, my niece built the Paxton, and she loves it. And uh, she also has these here, these coffered ceilings in her house, and it's just, it's just really beautiful. It wasn't available for us in the clay, but this is something really nice. If you're thinking of a new home, I would definitely look at Fisher. There are people know what they're doing, and they'll give you all the great options you want to do with it. There's a good shot of how big that countertop is in the kitchen at Center Island. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us a nice thumbs up on our videos. And we'll be back with some more tours of some model homes in the future. Thanks to Fisher Homes for letting us stop by and take a look at their model.